Hello YouTube, Zealous Talon here, and today the, we're taking a look at the last of my Samurai reviews. This is the Barracuda Blade roleplay weapon. Um, it was initially released in the Samurai line, and then it was carried over for Super Samurai, so... Your box may say one or the other. So, again, signature weapon of the Gold Ranger. It's a Tonto, or basically a... Uh, Japanese knife, specifically like a samurai's knife, uh, inside of a scabbard with a disc. Uh, the dagger in the scabbard looks like a fish. Uh, in Japan, this was the Sakana Maru, uh, with Shinken Gold having been a sushi salesman. Sakana was a reference to um, a Japanese dish, um, but at the end of the day, this basically looks like a fish, so we can call it what we will. Uh, Barracuda Blade's pretty cool. I was really tempted to start this video off with uh, Barracuda by heart, but that would have just been too cliche. <laughs> uh, so you've got a very nice dark blue paint going down one side. For the 15 bucks that this costs, I really think that they could have gone the extra length to paint the other side. That doesn't seem too much to ask, but we got what we did. The Sakana Maru did not have the belt clip built in. It was a separate piece that had to be attached, but the Barracuda Blade does have the belt clip already molded onto the scabbard, which is nice. You do get a nice metallic light blue going along the top, which I just adore. Um, it's a just gorgeous color. And then the, uh, the eyes are painted, and actually the only thing on the reverse that is painted is the opposite eye which on the original toy was an LED. Uh, you also get uh, one of the Gold Ranger's discs. In Japan, this was the sushi disc. And I, you know, I don't follow the samurai show. I just go with the toys. But um, I don't know what this was called in America. But um, it has kind of this spinning, reflective shine pattern sort of thing going on. Uh, sort of like those, you know, older, kind of makes me think of those older TV shows where they would, you know, like Batman, where it would be all like, nah, 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 and you'd have like that spinning yellow red epileptic effect. Because, yeah, that's about what this does. If we take the spin sword and attach it onto it, you can see it's just kind of a spinning pattern, so. Uh, my foremost complaint with the Barracuda Blade is that it does not interact in any way with any of the other roleplay weapons. You cannot attach the black box to it, you cannot place the Barracuda Blade inside of the Bolzuka, and that's not really a fault of the Barracuda Blade. The original Sakanamutter, it did not interact with other weapons either. So, um, we did lose sounds and the motion sensor, it was exchanged for a light-up blade, which I honestly think for the, that turned me off at first, but I got over it because I love the way this thing looks. Um, to remove it from the scabbard, you have to push this little samurai logo button, um, in here, and then that will unlock the knife from the scabbard you can simply remove and you have a very nice transparent yellow blade edge um, reinforced with gray plastic uh, with some gold paint on both sides which is fantastic the gold on this is just brilliant uh, the original Sakana Maru had a just a plain silver edge this is the translucent yellow to simulate gold so um, activating the light, you just push this larger samurai logo up by the fish head and lights up. I have my room lights on, you know, plenty of ambient lighting, and this is just showing up brilliantly. It really is a good light. And, um, the thing I like about it is it just, I mean, just gripping it, you're naturally just right there on the button. So as soon as you draw this, pretty much, you're already lit up. So I, I really do like it. I was kind of put off by it a little bit at first. It seemed a little chintzy but and small, but 
I, it's significantly shorter than the spin sword, but when you account for the fact that you have a scabbard with it um, and one disc, really the 14 bucks worth of plastic is there. It's just, you know, you don't have any sounds, you just have a light. But I'm, I'm okay with that just because it, it looks so well. And it's only ever it's only supposed to be a knife, so the actual size of it works very well um, as a role play toy. It's convincing for either a child or an adult, which is nice. Um, you can take this disc and attach it onto the Barracuda blade and spin it for no purpose whatsoever. The original Sakonamaru did not spin its disc, but you can spin it on the Barracuda blade, even though it does absolutely nothing. Um, so, and again, the the knife fits in there so loosely just for ease of drawing that they kind of had to put in the lock mechanism so that the two wouldn't fly apart. Um, if you're a fan of the roleplay toys or of the Gold Ranger, I highly, highly recommend this. Um, Again, I was just sitting on the fence for it for the longest time, and it just was like a splinter in my, in the back of my brain. Like, you should maybe get this, maybe get this, maybe get this. I did, and I just love it. I like it better than the spin sword. Um, it's just a fun little toy to just dick around with. You know, you just pop out this little play knife, light it up, and, you know, just voila. It's just, it just, it's just fun, you know, to play around with so um uh, highly recommend it if you can still find it on the shelf um although again the weakness of it not combining with other toys is kind of a knock against it but you know what do you do it's staying fairly true to the original design so this has been zealous talon with a great recommendation for the barracuda blade uh again the end of samurai after this we're looking at megaforce so Take it easy, YouTube.